So today's video is going to be a little mini tutorial on this top knot that I have here. Super easy, super quick, and it's just really pretty. It's different from a messy bun because it's not like the style of messy. As you can see, it's just like a top knot, kind of like a ballerina, but a little bit messier. So my thing is that it's like super quick and it works every single time. So you know, there's no redoing it, no taking it down. It literally works every single time. And if it doesn't look good, you can just pull it out, put a bobby pin, you're good to go. So yeah, if you wanna see how to get this bun or top knot, then just keep on watching. All right, so I'm working with third day hair, which I think either second, third, or fourth day hair is like the best to do this top knot because if you're just doing it on like freshly washed hair, it all won't stay up and it'll come down really easily. So you can do it. You just have to use like a lot of hairspray and bobby pins, especially if you have like a bunch of layers like I do. Um, but yeah, so I'm working with third day hair and as you can probably tell, and it's curled. So that helps it give it a little bit more volume. So um, yeah, I have also teased my the top of my head. Um, not too much, but just enough to give it a little bit of extra volume. So all you need for this is just a hair tie, a hair bow, whatever you want to call it. And then sometimes I will use just one bobby pin. It depends on how tight the top knot feels. So all I do is put all of my hair behind me. Make sure if I teased it or whatever that it's all kind of smooth. So this takes just a little bit of... Um, little bit of time just kind of getting it the way you want it and so then I will lean my head back and gather all of my hair just kind of like you would a ponytail so just put it up like you would a ponytail and then I like to put it I like to put my bun about at the top of my crown so about right here hopefully you can tell so this is where I like to start it it's not too high it's not too low if you want a top knot on the very top of your head you go for that sometimes I do just to get it out of my face even more but if I'm going to be wearing this out this is usually the way I do it so I am going this is going to look kind of weird but like I'll take my hair and start twisting it and then as I'm pulling it up so twisting it you're gonna look really weird like your Cindy Lou Who or something so right now it should be very high and very twisted you can wrap it either to the right or to the left it doesn't matter so you're just gonna to want to twist it and then when it's as tight as you want it you're just going to lay it down and twirl it around so as you can see my layers are kind of coming out that's okay we'll fix that in a second so as you're twisting it I'll do that again so you can kind of see let me untwist it for a second okay so you twist it and then you just wrap it around not hard at all and then with the tail I like to keep it right underneath the bun and then with this hand I'm holding the tail with my left hand and with my right hand I'm just going to cup the whole bun and hold everything in place and then I'm just going to take my hair tie wrap it around the bottom twist and then kind of finesse the bun into like a better bun and pull the rest of the hair tie over. So it should look something like this on top of your head. It's kind of messy. Um, it just depends on how fast you do it, how much you twist the actual bun or your actual hair. Now what I like to do is to just, I just like to play with it. So if I'm looking this way, it's because I have a mirror and I can't really see in front of me. So I just like to kind of pull on it and I, want, I like to hold my bun so that it doesn't come undone that I'm just pulling the hair out around it and not the entire bun. So I'm just going to pull my hair in different places in the back and the side everywhere. And then I'm going to pull the hair out from the side of my head. I don't have a lot of hair that comes down but I do have a little bit. And I just like for it to kind of frame my face a little bit. So this is where the one bobby pin comes into place. Um, what I like to do is just grab like a couple pieces from the actual bun. Let's get a little closer. Maybe you can see. Let me move my mirror. So I just like to grab a couple pieces from up here and pull them down. Take my bobby pin and get it into the bun and also into my hair. 
So that way I know that the bun is not going anywhere because it's attached to this part, if that makes any sense. So now you have a top knot and it is higher on my head because of how high I twisted it. But if you don't like that, you can just, you know, move it down, move it up, doesn't matter. And I find that with this top knot, it's different from a messy bun because it literally works every single time. I mean, like with a messy bun, you know, you have to like work with it a couple times and you have to take it down if it doesn't look good. This will literally look good every single time. So it's like a huge lifesaver and time saver. So this is how I've been doing my buns lately. I love it. I think it looks great. You can dress it up, you can dress it down and it's just easy. And so this is what it looks like from the front. Let me scoot up a little closer so you can see. And then the side. And like I said, this is not a messy bun. This is a top knot. So it's not going to have the type of messy effect. All right, so that was the entire tutorial. I know it's super easy. Um, let me know if you try this and it works out for you. I've just recently learned this um, technique like myself. I just started doing it and it just worked so yeah it's really awesome i i just love the how easy it is and how time sensitive it is you don't have to worry about getting your messy bun just right you just do it and it's you're good to go so and also i find that you can do this on the bottom of your hair too if you just want to like pull it down like a ponytail and then just do the the top knot or like a low knot whatever it's called right here it works just the same i mean you can do it up here down here wherever you want to do it it's super easy. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to let me know what other videos y'all like to see down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like this if you found it helpful or enjoyed it at all. So yeah, I hope you have a good week or weekend whenever you're watching this. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.